What is up guys, The Collector19 here and today we have the Ichibancho figure, Master Lies E-Moving, Shoto Todoroki from the new My Hero Academia movie, World Heroes Mission. So, here we go. So, uh, going back to my previous video, I just learned or I just realized that it was or it is Master Lies not master lease so you learn something new every day it's master lies so tomato tomato yeah so once again this is the master lies e-moving figure a promo figure for the new my hero academia movie world heroes mission so i haven't seen the movie yet it's been out for quite some time now but i haven't seen it yet but i've heard that this or the stealth suits in the movie only lasted or only or only had a screen time of five minutes or lesser than that so these variants of the suits or variants of the character wearing the stealth suits, Deku, Bakugo, and Shoto, it was really hyped and was really promoted, advertised, or like uh, religiously and endlessly before the movie came out. But turns out the suits only appeared for five minutes in the movie. So again, I haven't seen the movie. I've heard that was that that was a rumor before, but it was confirmed then after I watched a few reviews of the figures. And yeah, I can guarantee you guys it is 5 minutes or less in the movie. So let us get started. Let's take a closer look at the box art of the figure. So we have Shoto Todoroki here. Master Lights E-Moving logo there. Ichibancho logo. The movie logo there. World Heroes Mission. A good shot of the figure. So the box is kind of tall. So that is why I am propping my camera on another boxed figure here. So it's um, like boosted up by a boxed figure which i hope i can review after this video or after i review shoto so it says master lies e-moving shoto todoroki there the bandai and namco logo bandai logo there funimation i really like the box art of this figure or of this set including endeavor and the two others on the other side you can see the monster trio wearing the stealth suits that only lasted for five minutes so I have Deku coming in in the next few weeks and I'm currently looking for Bakugo. Bakugo is I think going for something around 70 bucks and up. Hopefully I can find one below retail or below that, below 75 or 71 bucks. And of course we have Shoto. We have here the World Heroes Mission movie logo there. On the back you can see the two variants you can choose from whether it has a hood on and with, without the hood on. So Master Lice e moving I think is a line of Master Lice where some parts can be removed and exchanged for a different uh, variant of the part. So in this case we have a hooded Shoto and an unhooded one. So this one is also there will be another e moving in the next few releases of the My Hero Academia Ichiban Kuji figures and it is the Deku from the Begin the Hero line. So it also has an interchangeable head, or Deku at least. He has an unmasked and mask on, featuring his very first suit in the show. So E-Moving, Master Lies E-Moving there. I need to translate this one so I can understand what it says. This product is included, uh, more Japanese characters. On the back, some caution, warning, choking hazards. On the other side, we can see the two versions of the figure. Well, the two versions of the head at least. So I think I'll be displaying them on the shelf with the hooded figure on. Hooded figure. That sounds like a mystery man. And it says My Hero Academia, the World Heroes, the movie World Heroes Mission. So very nice. On the top, here we can see a good design, a really creative design. Some blue there for Shoto. Black, World Heroes Mission, Master Lies E-Moving, and the Toho License or Seal, meaning that this is a legit figure and it went through Toho. On the bottom, nothing but a white, plain white cardboard there. <laughs> anyway, so that's it for the box art, guys. Now let's take a closer look at the figure. Pop him out of the box. Really excited for this Shoto Master Lies E-Moving figure. And let's compare him or pose him side by side with his dad, Endeavor. So, here we go. So the figure comes or has three separate pieces and it's and it came in with this nifty clamshell so I like this one. 
This one is a great addition. But save Mother Earth. Am I right? So the figure comes in or it comes with three separate pieces, mainly the unhooded version of Shoto, the hooded version, and the foot support. Plus, of course, we have the main figure itself or the body. So we have that. So let's take all of this stuff out of the plastic packaging and assemble Shoto Todoroki from the World Heroes Mission movie. So we have now the Shoto Todoroki Masterlice E-Moving figure from the World Heroes Mission movie out of the box and I can't believe how glorious this figure is. I mean the scale and the height is really cool, uh, probably one of the tallest figures I have in the collection since well given it's a Masterlice figure, most Masterlice figures are really big in size and tall in height so uh, it makes sense that this would look big in the display and sitting him beside my other Shoto figures. He will be the tallest of them all. So design wise I really like the matte finish or the matte slash glossy finish on the paint here. You can see WHA. I've heard that this is a World Heroes. World, I forgot the name of the is that, is that an agency? World Heroes Agency. Like I said I haven't seen the movie yet. I'm planning to just need some time to watch it and if I can get my lazy ass to watch the movie. I will watch it. So again, this is a stealth suit version of their current or um, normal suits. Well, there's a little modifications here and there, but yeah, it's still the same look as Shoto's hero suit from the series. So this is an awesome figure overall. I really like the sculpt. I really like the highlights on his hair there. There's some blue airbrushing there. Really cool. I like the silver paint. Quite metallic if you ask me on his boots there some matte gray paint or silver paint his boots are relatively shiny it's looking badass his treads look the same as his um hero suited version i don't know what these are for it reminds me of the on the lower backs of the stormtroopers it looks like it but yeah it, you know what i mean so again we have here the wha I like the I'm I'm liking the paint on this one. The silver is really silvery. <laughs> is that even a word? And he has some gloves on. Unlike in his hero suit, he doesn't wear any gloves for his, for his quirk. Does he? I think he doesn't. And yeah, really cool. There's a little paint chip on his knuckle there. Um, yeah, there's a paint chip, but I won't touch that. It might ruin the figure. And yeah, really cool. I like the belt here. Plus his, I forgot what these are for. I think that's water, so he can produce more ice. The knee pads looks like the same as the knee pads he's wearing in the anime or in the show. Some mini pockets here. And yeah, very cool indeed. So I'm not sure if I'll be posing him using this one or wearing or having this one on. I don't, I'm not exactly sure since he can stand on his own without it but for the sake of the video i'll be putting this one on there so shoto todoroki and to interchange his head sculpt the head pops off really easily and you can change or you can pop this on the hooded shoto very cool indeed i really like the sculpt on shoto here really looks like him no paint smudges whatsoever. I like the mesh finish, mesh texture on the hood, on the suit. Yeah, I really like the texture on it. It looks like leather, but it's not. Plus, there's a little wrinkling here going around it. Very cool. Great attention to detail. And let's pop this one on to the body. And there you have it, guys. We have the Shoto Todoroki hooded stealth version. Not in that order. <laughs> There, really cool. But in my opinion, I think the best looking one wearing their hoods on is Deku. Deku has some kind of a unique hood to his stealth suit since he's as like a mimicking his delta suit, which is nice. So that's Shoto Todoroki for you guys. The stealth suit version from the movie World Heroes Mission.
So this master lights e-moving Shoto Todoroki is standing at 10.5 inches tall and I think that's with the hood on. But without the hood on, I think he's lower or he's below 10.5 inches tall. But to give you an idea how tall he stands, let me bring in Endeavor the Master Lice Extra or Master Lice Extra that I reviewed in my previous video to compare the size and scale of Shoto to his father. So here we go. So there you have it guys, a comparison of the Master Lice Endeavor, Master Lice Extra Endeavor to the Master Lice E-Moving Shoto Todoroki. They look good side by side and their scales complement each other since they're both Master Lice figures and apologies if I have to prop my camera in portrait mode since there's no way I can fit them in landscape mode and I need a bigger light box for them. Since I'm starting to collect Master Lice figures, I need the bigger light box so that I can fit these types of figures in it and have a uniform look to the reviews I'll be doing in the next few months or going forward. That is it guys, that's the side-by-side -side comparison of the Shoto Todoroki Master Lice E-Moving figure to the Master Lice Extra Endeavor figure. So that is it guys for the review of this Ichiban Show Master Lice E-Moving figure Shoto Todoroki from the new MHA movie World Heroes Mission. And if you're wondering where I got this figure from, I got it off Ichiban Toy Cart. Again, another massive or another cool deal from Ichiban Toy Cart. And I cannot wait to make more purchases of his shop. So again, thank you so much Ichiban Toy Cart for this Shoto Todoroki figure. And if you guys want to check out ITK, I'll link him in the description below. There's a link to his Facebook page. Go check him out. Like his page if you haven't already. And make sure to reach out to the page if you have any figures you want to hunt. Or if you want to purchase your Shoto Todoroki, your Master Lice Endeavor of ITK, make sure to shoot him a message. He's a nice guy, so there. So that is a wrap for another figure review in the channel, and that is a wrap for this Master Lice E-Moving Shoto Todoroki. And as always guys, if you have enjoyed the video, smash that like button and hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. I post videos on Wednesdays and on Saturdays, or better yet, hit that notification bell so you'll always get notified every time I make an upload. Also, you can check me out in my social media accounts. All of the links are linked in the description below. So once again, guys, this has been The Collector and this has been Shoto Todoroki. Thanks for watching. Let's collect Plus Ultra and I'll see you in the next video.